Welcome back. The presidential election still more than two months away, but voters could get a hint of the outcome as early as Tuesday. Maybe not the outcome, but a hint of some things. When several key battleground states hold their Senate primaries, among them Arizona, where John McCain is fighting for a sixth term in the Senate while enduring some stinging attacks from his underdog primary challenger. John McCain okay. has fallen down on the job. He's gotten weak. He's gotten old. I do want to wish him a happy birthday. He's going to be 80 on Monday, and I want to give him the best birthday present ever, the gift That's of a, retirement. That, I'm a physician. I see the physiological changes that happen in normal aging um, in patients again and again and again over the last 20, 25 years. So I do know what happens to the body and the mind so you're at the end of life. You feel comfortable diagnosing him on air like this? Diagnosing him as an 80 year old man? Yes, I yeah. do. NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Kelly O'Donnell joins me. And Kelly, before we get to that, you have some breaking news on the Trump campaign. This is part of the behind the scenes at the Trump campaign, Tamron. Uh, sources are telling me that Bill Stepien, a well known Republican operative, has been brought on by Team Trump to assist them with field operations that relate to voter turnout. How you go about in district after district even precinct level, trying to pull your voters out and get them to the polls. Bill Stepien, of course, uh, was in the national conversation uh, a couple of years ago in the Bridgegate events uh, in New Jersey. He had formerly been serving as the head of the Republican Party in New Jersey and a top political aide to Governor Chris Christie. He was fired by Christie, and according to sources, they have not been in contact uh, in a couple of years now. Trump's top new team, Steve Bannon, he brought uh, Stepien on board, and I am told that uh, son-in-law Jared Kushner, who has been a very uh, intensely involved member of the family in all of the operations at Team Trump, uh, he was part of the recruitment to get this uh, political talent into the campaign to try to help them in that very difficult area of ground game. Tamron? All right, Kelly, and just going back to uh, as we talked about uh, the race alone, uh, just in our time that we have out of Arizona, John McCain, uh, some have said this is, even with the heated rhetoric of the general election candidates, uh, this is a shocker what we're hearing out of Arizona. Well, Kelly Ward, who is a state lawmaker and an osteopathic physician, is his challenger in the primary Tuesday. And she is far behind in the polls, but she knows that saying some of those sort of provocative things are getting her attention. There have been other instances where candidates who were turning 80, and she's right, he turns 80 on Monday, have had that become an issue for voters. But it has traditionally been an area where uh, candidates don't call out their uh, rivals for age. I spoke to John McCain about about this particular issue last year, knowing he would be turning 80, and he said to voters of Arizona, just watch me, watch my 18 hour mm -hmm. days, watch my work ethic, and then as he often does with a smile, he says, and may I refer you to my mother, Roberta, who is 105 years old. Wow. Right. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.